hello friends in this video we will learn how to get the date of the week for example today while recording this video today's date is 3rd of september 2020 and this is a thursday and this is the if we are considering monday as the first day of the week then this is day number four of this week and if we want if we have a scenario where we want to get the first day of the week's date so today is thursday we want monday's date to appear in a new field so how do we get that let's learn that in this video first i have some tools from my previous video so i will give that link in the description section where I have uh, explained how to add a date to our output file name dynamically. So in this, let's proceed from there. So we'll insert the formula tool. And in this new tool, first we will write how to get the number of the day in that week so first we will see the example of today's date so the formula for that is date time format and we want today's number so we will say select today and here to get the number is U. So see, here we get 4 because while I am recording, this is uh, September uh, 3rd, that is falling on Thursday and uh, considering Monday to be the first day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So now we want the first day of the week's date, that is Monday's date. So we have to deduct three days from today's date. So how do we get three here? Then we have to deduct one day from this, minus one. And now we have to write one more formula here. We have to ensure because here, you see, this is in uh, the type data type is string. So we have to convert this particular section to numbers. We have to ensure that this is con converted to numbers. So we have to write one more formula to number. And now we will end this here. And one more parenthesis will end here. Now, we will require one more parenthesis, but that is later. And now we get three here. So we have to deduct this three from today's date. So again, we will write today's formula here. Date time format and today's and uh, we win, uh, We need a formula that is date time add that will uh, that is to uh, do the summation or subtraction. So if uh, uh, the number uh, is in negative, then it will subtract. Or if it is, if you want to add, you will use plus sign. So we will use that formula date time add. Here again today's format today and say comma 
and we'll see one minus and if we here one parenthesis end then what we need is we have to mention because this has to be in date format so here we'll mention days and again one more parenthesis and in what format we need it We have to be very careful with the parenthesis. Somewhere we are missing. I guess here. Yeah. So now we got. So from 3rd of September, if we are deducting three days we are getting 31st August so instead of this date time today we will enter a field that is there in this file and that field is began field I'll show you after entering this formula so we'll enter began here as well So what this formula is doing, so whatever date is there in this began field, so it is considering Monday uh, as the beginning of that uh, week. So if 27 October 2014 here, so we will check what date is it. It will be a Monday. So we'll go here. October 27 is a Monday so you saw the series guys so that particular date must be so we have to give it a name that's why we are getting this error so let's call it weekday And the file that I have 
inserted here has that field that we entered the formula here this is the field we referred and we will run this workflow and we will see if the new field is created with the week date so control r to run the workflow we'll check this is the output that we got and the new field that we created appears here and if you see the sample file this is the last field in the sample file but in the output we have the new field created here so that's it for this video guys thank you so much